What's going on guys? Currently Friday morning, no class today. I thought, well, I had so many topics lined up. I didn't know what to talk to you guys about today. I didn't feel like vlogging since it was the first week of school. I've been busy with school, work, and studying and all that. So I thought today, why not talk to you guys about some uh, supplements? So, before we get into this kind of stuff, I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys are looking for like uh, for me to do like a bicep curl or a calf raise or something like that in this workout or in this in this vlog. There's gonna be no workout, no daily vlog, no lifestyle, nothing. So this is just gonna be pure Mateo vlogs, classroom edition, quick and easy supplements 101. For those of you who are just starting out, uh, you could be 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, wanting to go to the gym. Um, debating if you want to get big, not get big, stay lean, uh, not stay lean, lose fat, anything. So I'm going to be talking to you guys very simple, easy terms. I'm not going to get into too much detail. I want to keep this as short as possible, and uh, but informative uh, to say the least. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so a little bit about me. I've been working out for the past. That's the thing. People ask me this question, and like the thing is, everyone works out. It could be once or twice in the gym when you're anywhere in high school, grade eight, grade nine, grade ten. It could be once a week in the uh, school gym, but you're just screwing around, horsing around, not getting anything done. So when people ask me how many years have you been working out, I would probably have to say I'm 23 now. I would say high school I didn't really take the gym very seriously. Uh, and maybe a year to two years in university I probably took it seriously. So I'd say I've been working out for the past three, around three years now. I have been around the weights and the supplements for a long time, even though I've only been working out for three years. I kind of know what supplements are worth it, what supplements you guys should just hold back on, it's just a waste of money, and then what supplements actually spend the money on and you might see results with. So the first thing you're thinking is, I want to estimate you guys are younger than me. So when I was starting out, I didn't know too much about supplements. I would either hear from a friend, oh hey, this brand's good, or hey, hey, buy that one, buy that one, oh, I see so many results in the first week, and then oh, it just dies down, but let's go get another brand. If you guys don't, if or actually, if you guys want to save some time watching these tutorials, watching these reviews or unboxings, or if you guys think you guys should be going with a certain brand over another one, just watch this video. It'll clear everything up and uh, it'll save you a lot of money. By the way, if there's anything you guys want to know about supplements, comment down in the uh, comment box. I'll, I'll answer them the next uh, the next video. The number one thing people are always talking about, protein. Everyone knows what protein does. You work out, why don't you work out? You break the muscles down, all the fibers and everything. You come back home, the muscles are broken down, you need to replenish, you need to build those muscles back up. Make them, they break down small pieces, you need to bring them back up. So, that's what protein does. Don't let anyone else tell you that any other supplement does that. Creatine does not do that, pre-workout does not do that. Glutamine, uh, anything, okay? None of that stuff does it. So ignore the brand, but if there's one product I'd recommend everyone to get, you could only pick one product, I would go with a protein, okay? Very, very important. It could be a meal replacement, it could be just to have a shake throughout the day. If it would be very hard for the average person to consume the amount of protein they need to replenish their body. If I weigh almost 195 now, I would need 1.5 times my body or per pound to start building muscle. So that's that's over 220, 230 grams of protein. That is very hard for me on a day-to-day -day basis to consume that much just in food, in actual solid food. If it wasn't for protein, if you take two to three shakes a day, usually this stuff has about 25 grams of protein per scoop. 
that's an extra 50 to 75 grams of protein you wouldn't have to grab from food. It's always better to grab from food, but this is what this kind of stuff does. So don't rely on this stuff to, um, to substitute for your actual food, but it's, it's good to have in your, in your day to day life. So there's protein. Number one thing, if, if, if you have to buy one thing, get protein. Um, actually, another thing on the protein is you don't have to get some fancy ass protein uh, with like glutamine and it's got this in there, it's got BCAs in there. Just get normal protein. You can buy it at your local grocery store. You don't need to go on bodybuilding.com like me, okay? Um, regular protein, all protein's the same. If you have a weaker stomach, I'd probably go with like an isolate. If you were trying to like gain more weight, I'd go with like a whey protein. Isolate's a little more cleaner, but uh, it's also on the more higher end of price. So, that's protein. Second thing that I would probably go with, that's worth your money, that you should be getting starting when you're a young age or not. Ask your parents, I don't know if you're allowed. Um, Pre-workout, as I said, ignore the brands, but I just wanted to show you. These are my two favorite pre-workouts right now. I was using, uh, using Supernova by, I don't even remember the, the company. Anyways, pre-workout. If you're feeling sluggish that day, if you feel like, oh, my buddy's picking me up in 10 minutes, he's gonna be outside and I just, I haven't ate anything, like, it's just, it's not your day, you don't feel like working out, that's where pre-workout comes in. I wouldn't recommend it, like just on an everyday, everyday workout kind of thing, but it definitely helps you get that extra boost. Um, you feel more alive in the gym, you get that pump in the gym, you just feel a lot more alert in the gym, but I would not recommend pre-workout to everybody. Just look at your body type, see if you can take it. While we're on the pre-workout subject, uh, something that I've been researching lately in the past month or so was, a year ago I wasn't getting the pump in the gym. Like, you guys think I'm trying to be funny here, like the pump, but Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of thing. But you don't know how important the pump that you feel, that like that feeling of the pump that you get in the gym is very important. You guys don't understand. You guys could be going into the gym, as I said in previous videos, going in to hit the chest day, and you guys' shoulders are coming out. So A, you're not, your form is not very good, and you're you're not focusing on that muscle group. But apart from that, apart from your, your form, apart from actually knowing what you're doing in the gym, to get that pump in the gym, the blood to flow in the in the body part you want, there's one ingredient, okay? There's one ingredient in pre-workout that really helps. And I've been trying this out for the past 20 or so workouts in the in the in the month. The once the one ingredient you want to look for, okay? Now, most pre-workouts do have this ingredient. Some don't. Some BCAs also have this ingredient. So if you can find this ingredient in a pre-workout, bonus. If you can find it in a BCA, while, take the BCA while you're working out, even better, okay? The one ingredient is citrulline malate, okay? It also, so you can see right here, citrulline malate. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Now, sometimes it's written out as citrulline malate, sometimes it's written out as L-citrulline, okay? So like, it's written like L-arginine, stuff like that, right? L-glycine, L-carnitine, but it's L-citrulline or citrulline malate. If you're debating on a pre-workout between one or the other, go with the one with the higher citrulline malate. It's got, there's no side effects to it, Nothing that's like, there are side effects to everything, but it's nothing dangerous, nothing you need to watch out for. You can actually buy citrulline malate on its own, flavored or unflavored, okay? But since taking this, like for instance, this one's got, so per one serving, this has got 4,000 milligrams, 4,000 milligrams of citrulline malate. That's pretty high. This one, for instance, doesn't even have citrulline malate, which I just realized. So it makes sense for the last month that I've been working out that some, one of my buddies, shout out to Noslin who gave me this, I felt so much better in the gym with this than I did with this. 
and everything makes sense now. This one doesn't even have citrulline malate or l citrulline. So, go with a pre-workout. Well, flavor's important, blah, 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 all this stuff. But go with one with high citrulline malate. And while we're still on the pump subject, if quickly, if you want a quick pump in the work, in, in, your, uh, in your workout, quick pump, drink lots of water before your workout. Take in lots of sodium, so lots of salt. So I try to put on a lot of, like, as much salt as I can without it tasting horrible on, uh, like, a pre-workout meal. So, water, salt, citrulline malate, and have lots of carbs. But the top three are probably the most important. There's pre-workout, okay? Uh, third thing that I would recommend on buying, if you're starting out or if you don't wanna waste your money, I'm doing everything in order. Protein, pre-workout, third thing, Creatine. Now, this one is by Allmax, uh, Creatine Monohydrate, 100% uh, pure micronized German creatine. You can get creatine for fairly cheap. This is this lasts me a long time. I think I've had this thing for four years. I've been going on and off with this thing, trying different creatines, and I'm still, I still got a little bit left. This was 45 bucks four years ago. Okay, that's 10 bucks a year. It's like less than a dollar a month, okay? However, I would not recommend this brand or this type of creatine. This is creatine monohydrate. You wanna go with like an, a creatine HCL. If you don't care about the bloating, a lot of creatines do bloat you. For instance, this one bloats me a lot. I don't like that bloating feeling in my lower uh, stomach slash abs. So I would go with a creatine HCL. There's a pharmaceutical brand. I think it's actually called pharmaceutical grade something it's it just hcl white with the purple hcl logo on it i recommend that one creatine when you're working out easy to remember it pretty much just fills your muscles with water okay it just it just pumps water into the muscle being worked and that's about it it'll it's just it's just water dense that's all it is okay fourth thing um it's up in the air between bcaa's Okay. And the multivitamin. Now, if you're getting enough multi, or if, sorry, if you're getting enough multi, if you're getting enough vitamins, your daily vitamins throughout the day through fruits or vegetables or whatever it is, you don't really need to buy a multivitamin. Multivitamins, there's there's nothing bad about them. It's just um, it's just replacing the vitamins you're not getting throughout the day. So I, I try to take as many as I can of these. You can get any brand. You can go to like London Drugs or Superstore or like a Costco and buy these things so, so cheap, okay? I'll be honest, it's hard to remember to take this stuff. That's why I probably wouldn't buy it. Just try to stick with it, try to get it in foods and stuff like that. It's just filled with like random like vitamins A through like K. Um, and then it's got like zinc and copper and folic acid, vitamin this, vitamin that, biotin, everything good for you, good for your hair, good for your skin, good for your nails, good for your everything. So, multivitamins are good. If you wanna spend the extra money, you got the extra money in your pocket, right? If you're driving a Beamer or Rolls Royce, I'm sure you can afford an, uh, an Ulti Optimum multivitamin, right? Fifth thing, I would probably go with the BCAAs. Now, if you took 100 kids and uh, 100 kids from the gym, before any of the other stuff I talked about, all the other supplements, I would say 80% of the kids, so 80 out of the 100 kids, would own some sort of amino energy because they think that, oh, we gotta sip it throughout the workout. It's doing something. I don't know what the amino energy or, or the BCAs are doing throughout my workout, but I, I think it works because I see colored, uh, I see colored juice in people's drink when they work out. So amino's got to do the thing, right? Well, <clears throat> that's what I was thinking. But after uh, researching a little bit, if you got the money, as I said, sure, why not? Go get the amino energy. Go get the uh, BCAs that you need, right? It, it's it's an important thing in building muscle. However, it's not gonna it's not gonna cut it. Okay, this stuff. This is powdered stuff that 
I know the other stuff's powdered, but this stuff is just like, it's just like juice to me, you know? I'm just being honest. If you want to get big, you gotta eat. Okay, you gotta, you gotta force yourself to eat lots of meals. Forget the McDonald's or whatever thing that people say, oh, you just bulk up, have this, it's a dirty, dirty bulk. If you want to get big, have the smallest amount of meals every one hour. Okay, I don't care if it's 10 little, uh, nut, 10 little pieces of nuts. Like, just, just have it. Have something on you at all times because honestly, when I have food on me or I have something to drink on me, I drink it. If this was not here right now, okay, I would not be drinking water and I'd be dehydrated. People say if you have stuff on you, okay, it's in your reach or it's, you have it around, you're bound to eat it or drink it, okay? So, back to BCAs. Uh, I drink it just for that taste in the gym. I don't really take it because I know it's doing something for me. There's no really benefit to BCAs. It's just got a whole bunch of like random stuff that like I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I just take it for the taste. It's just like Gatorade. If you want to go buy Gatorade, if you want to buy like those little meal squirt things, go buy that. Um, I just buy it because I like these flavors and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So just to recap with you guys today, <clears throat> in order, what I would recommend. Actually, these things are good if you want the extra supplementation on the side. But there's only one thing I really recommend, and you guys really need to like listen to me when I say this because I've been working out for a while. I'm not the biggest, okay, I'm not the leanest. But I do have some sort of knowledge in, in this industry. As I said, this stuff is good, but it's just extra supplementation on the side. You can work out. I can't strain this enough. You can work out, okay, seven days a week with no job, hitting cardio for two hours in the morning, coming home and going back at night for a nighttime gym session. For another two hours hitting your body part hitting the muscle you want that day you can work out as much as you want okay if you don't have a good diet you will see no results really I really stress the importance on the protein the pre-workout and the creatine those three um, supplements right there I've seen the most results with and I think you guys will see the most results with so if you have to pick three just buy the basic ones, protein, I would try to take like one, one to two scoops with a shake or something, maybe twice a day to start. The creatine, I usually like to take my creatine mixed in with my pre-workout. It's good to take it 15 minutes before, they say with juice. So there's some sugar buildup in there, but I'd recommend that the, uh, the creatine before the workout, you can take it any time of the day. Sometimes I mix it in with my BCAs at the end of the day. And then the pre-workout, obviously 15, 20, 30 minutes before your workout, depending how your body is, right? But those three things right there are, I would say, the most important. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode of Mateo Vlogs, school edition, classroom edition, whatever you guys, I don't know what to call it. Anyways, and uh, you guys have a good one.